Crypto gaming. Crypto gaming made a lot of people millionaires in the 2021 bull run and is likely to do the same again in this bull run due to the fact that it's going to be one of the stronger narratives in the entire crypto space. Not only that, it does bring about a large adoption from Web2 users into the Web3 space and crypto as a whole. So today we're going to be looking at a few crypto gaming projects. Obviously, if you want a bit of a deeper dive into each one, uh, we can do that. Just leave a comment and let me know which ones you prefer. We're going to start off with Miria. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, crypto plays for this bull run. I think it's got massive potential and it has updated its website. The website is now a lot more fresh and slick than it was previously, and it's redefining the future of gaming. So explore the Miria ecosystem where simplicity meets scale. Develop your game with unparalleled speed and adaptability, placing players at the, at the core of the gaming universe. Now, the thing I like about Miria and a few other projects is the fact that it's not relying on one single game to do really well. So last time around, Axie Infinity being a massive exception to that rule did really, really well. So did Alluvium uh, and a few others. But I do like the fact that this has got, you know, this is like an onboarding place for games. Miria make their own games or in the, are in the development stage of making their own games and other companies can come on and list their games as well to be played under the Miria token. It's, it's exciting stuff. There's a few of the games that are either in development or out now. Uh, gaming is evolving, build with Miria. Now, Miria helps blockchain projects scale, whether you're an established game developer or simply exploring new possibilities, Miria has a solution to you for you. So it's making building easier with their intuitive SDK, comes an oven-ready code snippets in to make releasing your NFT collections frictionless. No need for complex languages like Solidity or Cairo. Free, trans, uh, act, free transactions, uh, it's secure and scalable, another real plus point, and a growing Miria community, which we'll touch on in a sec. Uh, then there's a few other different bits and pieces that you can come down and have a look at. Join the um, fast, fastest growing ecosystem, 2 million plus player wallets created already, thousands of developers, uh, 10x speed to launch with 96% reduction in development costs, which is obviously going to be helpful, particularly if you are um, uh, don't have the funds as a developer to to create your game this might be the way forward uh, but if you click on the game section which doesn't seem to be there it is <laughs> it's got meta rush which is going to be i think one of the bigger plays on this one uh, and then you can go through you can become a node holder uh, which is so you can you can passively earn some miria tokens again have a little flick through see what you think uh, i'm very bullish on miria i hold miria so take that for what it is i do actually hold miria um, then if we look at this, which was on its x.com, Miria, the Web3 gaming platform, has um, come up with a partner. Uh, this partner with Heaven's, uh, Haven's Compass. It's a fast-paced, tactical, first-place shooter set in the near future where players strive to find their haven. Uh, built on Unreal Engine 5, Haven's Compass, uh, Compass pr uh, promises to be a unique take on the shooting genre. Now, this is good. It's bullish. Uh, it shows you a little bit about the game there. You can have a little look and and flick through and see what you think. I'm very bullish on Miria. Uh, if we look currently at its price, it's at 0 0.008. It's 5.5% down. But look at the market cap. It's still very low. Uh, I still think this is super early. You're looking at a $78 million market cap right now. I still think minimum a minimum of 50x, potentially right up to 100x. As you can see, if I move my head slightly out of the way, uh, the chart looks good. It's now in that bit of a pullback phase um, where it's, you know, it, it had its its spike in December, which a lot of cryptos obviously did. Uh, and we're coming into that weird phase of the market now. It's an accumulation phase. And I still think there's definitely room to grow for Miria. I'm, um, like I say, super bullish on Miria. The next one is Nakamoto Games. Um, this is one I held back in the 2021 bull run. Um, I held it too long. Uh, didn't understand fully the the whole cycles of crypto, which is which is what you need to kind of be be learning as you go. Um, we know now that obviously in this particular stage we're, we're in a, an accumulation phase. I really like like Nakamoto games. Um, yeah, a lot of people say that the games are very basic and you know not graphically brilliant. But the thing is about gaming, uh, particularly mobile gaming and and Web three gaming is yeah you can get your alluviums and and you know the the real quality graphic stuff. Um, that you would consider Xbox quality or PlayStation quality, PC quality to a certain extent. But there's still a massive, huge gaming market 
for people who play play games on their phones, you know, the graphics have to be super impressive. They've just got to be addictive. They've just got to be games that, that you have fun playing. Uh, and again, this is um, a place where loads of games are available for you to go and play and, and, ha- and have a go at. But I think it's not relying on just that one game narrative, which I think is really, really interesting. So although the games may not be of, of, a, of a certain quality in terms of its aesthetics, the actual gameplay, you know, to get people involved and wanting to play a lot is is huge. Um, the price at the minute on Nakamoto Games is $1.38. It's down 2.5% at the minute. Um, $88 million market cap. Again, it's not, it's not a massive market cap, so it's still got massive room to grow in the crypto bull run. Uh, as you can see, the token, uh, the, the chart doesn't look absolutely fantastic, but it is kind of making a bit of a comeback now. Uh, the 2021 bull run, um, you know, when this finally kind of hit its peak um, from release was was huge. Uh, there was a lot of money to be made in that, and it did print a lot of people uh, a lot of money. The next uh, game I'm going to be talking about is one we've mentioned before. It's the Alaskan Gold Rush. Now, from a strictly investment point of view, this is a one game uh, project, um, but I think it's got like that Red Dead Redemption vibe. It's got that. It looks really, really slick. I, I, I think this is going to be a really good play. Um, I mentioned this on a YouTube video. I think it was uh, back in maybe November time, and it did really well as a result. Um, a lot of people made it made quite a bit of money. They, I got a few comments and a few emails saying thank you for for, for mentioning this one because it made a few, a few people a few pounds uh, or dollars. But I really like this. I think it's interesting. Um, it's got. Um, in-game economy. So to design an awe-inspiring Web3 game, you need the perfect economy. The crypto gaming space is currently suffering from excessive inflation, limited token demand, and a highly competitive NFT market. At Alaska Gold Rush, we have gathered a team of gamers and financial experts to create a thriving in-game economy and long-lasting incentives for the carrot token sustainability as an integral part of the gameplay. Now, sustainability is huge, um, but this is, again, I think this will do really well in the bull run. But the caveat to this is it has to be getting played so for if you're gambling on, on a one game project, you need the game to get played. You need it to be out there. You need people to be playing it and and to like build it. Um, got something stuck in my tooth, uh, and it's important because the more people that play it, the better it'll be. Um, the better the token price. But it is interesting. It is a very interesting project. I do like it. Obviously, come and check it out yourselves. Um, if we look at the the price at the moment, it's at zero point zero one cents. Um, this is its max chart. So it's got that kind of early mirror chart vibe where it comes down. Um, you can try and pick the bottoms up. I think, yeah, I think we probably mentioned it around about here, I think. And yeah, it's done really well since then. Uh, I wish I'd have actually got involved with this. Now the market cap is 3.8 million. So it might be worth me jumping into it now, uh, or at least over the next couple of days. Cause I think this has got massive legs. Um, I'm, I'm eager to see how the game you know how what people think of the game and how good that can be. I, I think it's great uh, I, from from an investment point of view and from a gameplay point of view. To be fair, the next one is Lit Labs. Um, this has been spoken about a lot across YouTube, and it does have a lot of potential. And again, this is more like a mirror play in terms of it's 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 going to have you know a selection of games for you to play. Uh, Cyber Titans is here now, and you can play that yourselves uh, straight away. Web3 uh, solutions, we develop our own technology focused on Web3 integration with a friendly user experience. So it's got an integrated wallet with our own infrastructure, we provide a full Web2 experience and a full blockchain uh, with full blockchain tools. Our user experience is 100% agnostic and gasless. Lit Token, a token made for gamers with a, a zero sum economy. It will uh, be used in every title published by Lit Games, burning as a way of life. So that's quite good. It's going to be used in every Lit game. Uh, on ramp system, it's easy to buy lit tokens with fiat, just one click, and it'll go directly into your wallet. Web 2.5 is here to stay, so that's interesting. You don't have to go through many of the other difficulties that some of the uh, projects have when trying to onboard users. So I think this has got a lot of legs as well. Um, it's currently at sixteen million dollar market cap, nearly seventeen. A hundred X wouldn't be beyond the realms of possibility for this, I don't think. But you know, I'd I'd be getting out well before that. Uh, I'm not going to be holding anything for for the full 100x. I think that would be uh, foolish just in case things go wrong, obviously. Uh, But I do like it. I think it's very interesting. Um, Its max chart is looking very solid. Um, But again, is it coming into accumulation range? Let me just move my massive head out of the way. Um, 
is it coming into accumulation range? Quite possibly. Um, you know, maybe if it comes down to sort of three, 0 0.03, that'd probably be a good place. Uh, but it is interesting, and I think it's going to do well in the bull run, like a lot of the, the game and projects. PZP, uh, plays app. Um, I'm not going to touch on that today. Um, there are a few dedicated videos on the channel that you can go and have a look at that I've spoke about PZP before. Uh, plays app, really like it. Um, I'll, I'll probably do another update video soon as things progress. The next one is Game Swift. So this is a little bit different. So this is um, a game changer, according to their website. Token utilizes uh, taking Game Swift tokens, uh, tokenomics to the next level. This is quite interesting because if we go further down here, so Game Swift or G Swift is an Omni token that can be seamlessly transferred between blockchains and support Layer Zero technology. Experience the, the true power of Layer Zero as you effortless, effortlessly move G Swift across multiple blockchains with its game-changing range of utilities. G Swift is setting new standards in the Web3 gaming tokens. Now, I do think that's quite interesting. It allows you to seamlessly transact with Game Swift across multiple chains. Um, Built with unmatched scale on GameSwift, the ZK EVM modular blockchain scale your game 100 to 10,000 times better than on monolithic blockchains. Enjoy a proven and secure modular infrastructure. GameSwift is joining the ranks of projects utilizing cutting edge ZK EVM technology to maximize the scalability and efficiency of Web3 games. So it's very interesting. It's getting developers on, on board all the time. I think this is one that might be a real good play as well in the bull run. Um, I think a lot of gaming projects will do very well regardless because um, when the bull run hits, the FOMO hits as well. Um, if we look at its chart now and its and its price, it's currently at 59 cents, just kind of under 60 cents. Um, it's it's all-time chart looks absolutely fantastic. Again, it's one of these ones that seems to go up and consolidate and then go up again. Um, I'm bullish on it. I'm bullish on it. I don't, don't hold any. Um, I might need to look into it. It's only got a 33 million dollar market cap so there's definite big x potentials there another one i want to talk about is a bit of a bonus one really because i hold this it's gala games it's the og it made people a fortune back in 2021 this is a a great project and, and, and i do really like gala games the only problem i have with it is the room for growth now the big gains i think have happened uh, i think it's at a very good price right now to to, to still make some potential gains um I hold it. Uh, my fear is I'm not going to get the bigger returns that I wanted on this project or that I expected from this project. And a lot of people got fear around Gala, and it's mainly due to this. So Gala Games founders, Biff, I assume that's an argument uh, in, in, in different language, over $130 million theft uh, corporate waste allegations. So Gala's co-founder, Eric Shermeyer, allegedly enriched himself, says his co-founding peer, Wright Thurston, while Shermeyer says Thurston stole millions. Now, that doesn't strike me as a, con a conducive relationship. That strikes me as a bit of a problem. So as much as I like Gala, uh, Gala Games, Gala Music, Gala Films, I also didn't quite like the fact that they were, they were using a, a separate token for Gala Music as well. I, I wanted it to be kind of all-encompassing, the Gala token, to, to go across all three um, of their projects. But it is what it is. Um, obviously, the games are fantastic. A lot of people are using this. Um, you can also get nodes on this as well. But I thought I'd mention it because I don't dislike Gala Games. I don't have any problems with Gala Games. I think it's great, but I do have a problem with how how many X's I can get from this now. Uh, and I, th I think it's a lot lower than it would have been had that lawsuit not come out. So that's a bit of an issue for me. Uh, I still hold it. I will continue to hold it. I will sell it in the bull run. But the, the expected returns on that for me now are not as big as what they were. Um, its price at the minute is 0 0.02 cents, 1.2% uh, down. Uh, it's one of them. It's it's just it's just it would have been nice not to have the lawsuit. I think everyone can agree on that. Uh, you know what it did, the lawsuit did to XRP and how it suppressed the price back in the twenty twenty one bull run for them. So you know it, it can have a negative effect. It's max chart. You can see what happened. This is back in in twenty twenty one. It absolutely mooned. Uh, so if you were getting in around this range, you know you were laughing. You were all the way to the bank. You were happy days. And it is very low again now. It has seen a little, you know, a little increase, uh, but it's ninety six percent down from its all time high of eighty two cents. Will we see those heights again? I'm not sure, but fifty, sixty five, maybe seventy cents wouldn't be beyond the realms of possibility. I was expecting a dollar. Uh, that was where I was looking at uh, at being as a, as a minimum for Gala in the in the twenty twenty five bull run. Uh, had that lawsuit not taken place, it's a little bit of an issue. But you know, if you're still holding your Gala. 
well done if you sold it that's absolutely fair enough you know it you have to do whatever you think's right in your investment strategy um, i hope you like this video if you do want me to do any deep dive on any one of these particular projects let me know in the comments and uh, whichever gets the most votes i'll put a poll up whichever gets the most votes we'll go and do a full deep dive into that particular project and and you know we'll do price predictions and, and what we see happening in the future if you like this video please smash the like button i really do appreciate when you guys do that um, the channel is growing fantastically well and it's all down to you guys so thank you very much subscriber wise we've, we've, we've blown past 3,200 subscribers now so we're chasing down 4,000 to the ultimate goal of 10,000 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet and you're a viewer of the channel please subscribe if you're new to the channel and you liked what you've seen so far if I resonate with you please subscribe or nip back and look at a few of the other videos and see how you feel and if you want to subscribe that'll be fantastic it really does help the channel so thank you very much wherever you're in the world whatever you're doing have an amazing day have an amazing evening. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye.